I love you and me Dancing in the moon like nobody can see It's just you and me tonight I love you and me Dancing in the moon like nobody can see It's just you and me tonight Look at you now, look at me How you ever ever gonna find someone like this? Look at you now, look at me How you ever ever gonna find someone like this? <laughs> Hi guys, thank you for watching my video and welcome back to my channel. So today I was thinking of doing a romance gameplay. It has been a while since I got my sims to be in love. I haven't played Sims scenario for some time, so I was thinking it would be fun to play with these engage in conflict scenarios here. So you see, it starts with two sims who are young, adult or older. Okay, we have that. And then sims must not be related to each other. Yes, of course. So the story endings will go with sims get married and have no negative sentiments between them. Or sims get married but have unresolved negative sentiments between them. Or sims break up before the wedding. Or sims break up during the wedding. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So much juicy going on. So I'm not too sure. So I'm going to see how it goes. Which story endings will gonna end up with i have no idea we, can, we shall see how it is for this scenario i'm gonna play my two k-pop idols let me just give you a quick backstory of this two i think most of you are familiar with nina kim my in-game k-pop idol but if you don't then let me introduce nina to you she's currently a five-star celebrity and in my previous episodes we have gone through her days as k-pop trainee and then she debuted as a k-pop idol as we know most k-pop idols are restricted to date and there is a ban of dating in the k-pop industry most of the k-pop agency impose strict rules where the k-pop idols are not allowed to date and they have a strict no dating rule so we have here today is nina kim and min jun park both of them are K-pop idols and they are currently collaborating for a song together. The K-pop agencies think that it will promote the song better if the two of them are dating and make their relationship public. Although Nina and Min Jun do not like each other, nor do they have good chemistry with each other, but they are forced by the agency to be in a relationship with each other. The agency dropped the sudden news that these two are engaged and that makes fans and media's attentions all on them. So currently they are in this fake relationship, so the agency got them to stay together here, but they are sleeping separately. They are not sleeping in the same room. So I don't know if they will fall in love or they've caught off their relationship once the promotion ends so we shall see we shall find out and see if we can actually make them fall in love so currently their relationship is in the red and i don't know whether they'll fall in love by the end of this video so we're gonna try so today's goal is to get them to fall in love so look at them everything's perfect for them they're staying in this beautiful penthouse in san my you know everything's arranged for them their characters are really different when Min Jun is much more serious, whereas Nina, she's a really cheerful, happy-go-lucky girl. And she's feeling really sad. She hates this so much. She hates this life. Like She was like wondering why does she need to, you know, suffer and to stay in this house together with him. She hates it so much. She just can't wait for the promotion to end so she, so she can move back to her home. And she doesn't need to see this guy's face anymore. So she goes to the treadmill, keep herself calm, talking to herself like she needs to do this. For her career, she needs to promote the song together with him. She has to just suck it up and promote the song together. It's probably just a few months. She was like, you know, just telling herself, it's just a few months. Let's, you know, do it together. Although he's he's such a douchebag and he can be really mean to her. But then she was like, you know what, never mind. So currently, yeah, she's feeling better now. That mean June actually makes some grilled cheese and actually asks her to eat. Oh, he, well, maybe he's not that bad, maybe. So he, she was thinking, you know what? We should just patch things up and maybe, you know, try to have better relationship with Min Jun. She was like, it's, she only have two options. One is to either stay here and be, and, and tear each other apart. Or maybe she can just try to make things not that bad and then they can maybe have a good relationship and then be friends and then maybe end of the day when they part ways then things will not be that bad for them so i was thinking maybe we should get nina to bake some flirty hot cookies and then maybe they can you know lighten the mood make them feel romantic make them feel flirty a bit so this one min jun has already made some grilled cheese so i was like you know you know what, let's make it into a party, just the two of them. There's grilled cheese and then there is um, romantic, um, what do you call it, flirty hot cookies, yeah. So they, it's going to be a little party between them both. 
here at home on a Saturday night. Oh, so we have the cookies ready. Yes. Look at that. Where is it? Oh, crap. Where is it? Where is it? Ooh, ooh, the romantic cookies. The flirty heart cookies is here. Yay. So, okay. So, um, Min Jun is taking a nap on the couch. Okay, time to wake up, Min Jun. Wake up. Okay, let's get them to eat the flirty heart cookies together. Come here. Okay, so we are going to get Nina to call for Mil. Let's do that. Okay, come here. Call to Mil. Come, let's eat the cookies together. Will he come and join her to eat the cookies? Where is he? <gasps> He's coming down. All right, all right. Let's see. Oh my gosh, she's finishing it soon. Come on, hurry up. Okay. All right, all right. He's sitting down now, just opposite her. Okay, that's good. Okay, come on, chat. Oh, she's feeling very flirty. Nice. Okay, you know what? Let's get her to chat with Minjun a bit. She's like, you know what? Let's um, let's talk something really um, friendly. And oh my, he's going sit down, sit down. Let's try to just compliment an outfit. But oh, he just doesn't talk to her. But he took her plate for her and he's going to do the dishes for her. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Minjun. Okay, so both of them are feeling very flirty right now. Yay! So, let's get her to chat with him a bit. So, she's going to chat with Minjun and then she's going to compliment his outfit. You know, just say something nice to him. And then, yay, the relationship, let's... Okay, looks getting better. Then let's get him to, you know, apologize. Let's just apologize to her. And then he said, yeah, I... And he was like, you know, I'm sorry, I crossed the line. I was just feeling cranky because the agent asked me to do something that I don't want to do. I feel like I'm so restricted. I can't... I don't have the freedom. That's why I'm feeling so cranky. And I take it out on you. I'm so sorry, Nina. Dad, they're feeling better. Oh, look at them having a chat. And then they are flirting with each other. Ooh, ooh. Enthusiast about new albums. Yes, of course. Let's do that a bit. And then after that, we shall jump right into the romantic option. So I downloaded this mod. Um, this romance mod. It calls Passionate Romance. Oh, no. She's yawning to her him. Like, whatever he said, she just yawned. Like, okay, I thought things were going well. And then she start, decided to yawn. My God, okay. But at least they have a little bit of romantic. The romantic bar is going up a bit, if you can say this. So, it's going up a little bit. So, it's alright. And then their friendship bar is in the green now. So it's no longer in the red. So, I guess it's alright. Okay, so now she's like looking at the phone. And then he's like, you know, okay, what to talk about now? What to talk? It's getting a bit awkward. So um, let's get um, her to talk. Let's get them to discuss about their interests. Let's do that. So I just want them to have a better relationship. And then she's like, you know, let's figure out our differences and see what's bad. And he was like, okay, you know what? Let's just, you know, try to solve this and then let's try to stay together. So I was thinking, you know what? Should we ask him out on the date? Let's do that. So for the... And one thing to ask out on the date to increase their relationship. At the same time, they need to do that for the publicity. So let's go. Let's invite him on a date. So Nina was like, I know a good Korean barbecue restaurant to go to. She brought him to her favorite Korean restaurant here in downtown San Maishuno. Actually, Min Jun comes from a rich family, so he's not really familiar with eating in downtown San Maishuno. But whereas um, Nina, she is um, she doesn't come from a rich background, so she's just used to hanging around in downtown when she's just a K-pop trainee. So it's alright for her. And actually, in fact, they actually know her. So this is her favorite restaurant here. And then she's going to request for a table. Hi. And then this Jeb Harris was like, you know, Hey, how are you? Long time no see. It's so good to see a K-pop idol here visiting us. Thank you so much for remembering us, Nina. Nina was like, ah, oh, please, don't say that. You guys are my friends. You guys have been there for me when I was, you know, just a K-pop trainee. So he was like, I'll give you the best spot, the best table ever. Here's your table. Enjoy your meal. Woo! Okay, here they are sitting here. All right, so let's order for table. He was like, you know, not knowing what to do because it's his first time here. He was like, look at this place. It's a bit like, it's, it's a bit dirty, isn't it? She was like, no, no, don't say that. Like, she was like, um, she was like, please, 
five star restaurant is like nothing. The food in five star restaurant is nothing. It's all it's all about the money. And then but here it's all the authentic good food it is. So she was like, you know what? Let me just order for you. Since you have no idea what to order. So he was like, okay, okay, I trust your taste. Go ahead. Then so she's gonna order. You know what? She's gonna like She's going to have her favorite banana milk. And then he was like, okay, just get me a soju. And then for appetizer, they're going to go for a corn dog. He was like, ew, I don't eat that street food. And then she was like, please, you have to try that. That is like the best ever. So he got, she got him a street food. She got him a corn dog. And then she was like, oh, you need to eat the best toboki ever. So she ordered toboki for them. And then she was like, you need to have bimbimbap as well. So they ordered bimbimbap and then um japchae as well. They're gonna go all out. He was like, are you sure we can finish all this food? She was like, oh, please. I did not get to come here often. So she was like, I need to go all out and have all the food. Because she has been dieting, losing a lot of weight for her debut. So now that she's a K-pop idol, things can be a bit more controlled. She can eat this and it's okay. Tomorrow she'll just work it out and tomorrow's gonna not be a long day so why not just fill our tummy with good food and then japchae japchae is the best so she ordered for them as well and then she's like you need to have the banana yogurt code it's a chef it's a chef's choice he was like okay go ahead just order whatever you want okay so she ordered and then she's gonna like have deep conversations with date Alright, let's do that. So that's the waitress taking their order. Right, so we need to socialize about meal. Click on your date while eating and select discuss food under friendly and then have deep conversations with your date. Okay, let's do that. Oh my god, that's the paparazzi. Alright, alright, that's the paparazzi here. Right, that's what we want. We want the media's attention. Look at that. They're like, oh, look at that Nina Kim and Minjun out on a date in this Korean barbecue restaurant. And then Nina is so happy because she's this is her favorite restaurant and then she wants to help the owner of this restaurant. She's like, I'm going to do this free publicity for you. So here's their food. Ooh, ooh, that's japchae. And then that is um, banana milk. And then that is a gimbap. Wait, is it made by Cassandra Goff? Cassandra Goff is a chef in the Korean restaurant. Okay, that's funny. All right, and then there she has, she's having her banana milk. Isn't this cute? And then let's socialize about meal. So she was like, okay, this is gimbap. He was like, oh, please, of course I know about gimbap. Okay, so uh, that's japchae. And then um, look at them. They're having such a nice, they're having a good interactions, isn't it? Look at them. So he's like, so do you like the food here? He's like, uh, it's not bad. Although actually, Min Jun really likes the food here. But he just doesn't want to give it to her. Look at him flirting with her. He just doesn't want to admit it that he likes the food here. So he was like, you know, trying to play it cool. He was like, yeah, yeah, the food's all right. She was like, ah, please, you love it, don't you? And look at them. They're so busy chatting with each other. And they they haven't even touched their food yet. Look at that. This is um, Nina's japchae. And then there's the boki there. There's some kimchi stew. There's some kimchi stew there and then there's some meat Korean barbecue there and there's the soju and then there's the gimbap and he haven't tried that and he was like, you know, really smitten with her and um, he really likes the place here. He actually find out that this place here is really nice. The people here are really warm and friendly. She was like, yeah, this place is the, the best. The people here are really friendly. Not like your, your typical five-star place where everyone is so fake. He was like, no, it's not that bad. She was like, yeah, it's really fake. Do you know that? And oh, the paparazzi just couldn't stop taking pictures of them. He's like, look here, look here, Minju, look at here, look here, Nina. Oh, look at them eating. He was like, okay, honestly, this is really good. So he was like, you know, she was like, you know, okay, now that we're done with a meal, we chug a go with dessert. He was like, are you sure we should do that? We have dance practice tomorrow. So she was like, so what? Screw that. She was like, you need to have the banana yogurt coat. It's a chef's choice. And they're going to have ice cream together here. And then look at the paparazzi. Like, check this out. Then she was, look at the waitress. You should see pretty. Oh, that's Ruby Langrab, by the way. And oh my God, what happened to Min Jun? <gasps> Is he having an allergic reaction here? <gasps> oh my God. Nina was like, geez, you're so bougie. Like you're having an allergic reaction because you, I think because maybe the place is a Korean barbecue, it's really hot and stuffy and then he just, he's not used to 
it being so hot, he because he's so used to, you know, eating in a five-star restaurant. And then he was like, you know, feeling so scratchy and all that. She was just laughing at him like, oh my god, you're so bougie to have this. Look at that. The ice cream is so good. And she's like, ooh, so good. And he eats it and then the paparazzi is still taking, taking picture. It's like pictures of Nina, Kim and Min Jun having ice cream together. And it seems like Min Jun... Is having a little bit of fever, I guess. He's feeling a bit illness. Oh, we got a reward. It says, nice date. There are some flowers in your Sims household inventory to better remember it. Okay, so it's almost the end of the date. Let's see their relationship. <gasps> Look at their relationship. It's so good. Their relationship, it's in, uh, their friendship is really strong. It's getting almost reaching 100%. And then for their romantic relationship, it's a little bit almost towards the mid towards the middle side so you know what and they are both feeling very flirty oh maybe we can get them to get maybe you can get them to get married to each other hey where are you going oh crap nina is feeling a bit uncomfortable right now because too many scenes from fear of crowded places oh no Oh no, she's like, things are starting to get a little bit claustrophobic here. Nina can only focus on mind over matter for so long before she will want to leave. Minju was like, you know what, we should get out from here. Nina was like, okay, it's 8am, you know what, it's time to go into the company. They need to practice their dance. So currently now, they're going to work in their K-pop company. They're going to do their dance practice for their upcoming music video. I love you and me Dancing in the moon like nobody can see It's just you and me tonight So now they are back at home from their dance practice. Uh, Min Jun was thinking he should confess his feelings for Nina. So the agency actually told them um, it's up to you if you want to continue your relationship because the promotion is almost coming to an end so they can actually break it off and then go separate ways or if they want to make it bigger they can do so too as well where Min Jun can actually propose to Nina so Min Jun is thinking really hard whether to continue the relationship or break it off he's gonna try to have a magical first kiss in the air first and then she, he will see whether Nina's feelings for him is the same so he's gonna try to do that ooh Ooh, ooh. Woo! Look at that! <laughs> Let's see what else can we do with Nina. Passionate romance. Okay, so can we make out? Oh, you do not have high enough romantic relationship with the Sims. Okay, we shall try different school romantic selfies. <gasps> okay, um, take proposal photo. Wait, hold on. No, not yet. Let's take romantic selfie with red car. Wait, what? What? How does it work? So this is a passionate romance mod. So I was trying out the options here. And I don't know what is that. Oh, oh, a car just magically appeared. Dang. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 look at that. We, I didn't know about this. Okay, okay. Look at these photos. Ooh, okay. Okay, so I was wondering whether their relationship is strong enough. This is a little bit more half and their friendship level is really high right now. So, okay, so what can we do? Oh, we can woohoo in sauna. Try for baby in sauna. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Not yet. So Nina clearly shows that she's really in love with Min Jun. So yeah, Min Jun was like, you know, he's gonna pop the question because he said he's like, if not now, then when? So can we propose to her? Let's talk about marriage and confess attraction to her. Oh, okay. So we should ask to be girlfriend first. <gasps> oh my god, someone said you never texted you never texted me back. Are you better than me now? <gasps> oh my god, Min Jun, is that your ex-girlfriend? Not right now when he was about to propose to her, then suddenly an ex-girlfriend just called him. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> oh no. He talked about marriage and she was like, um, I don't think so. Oh, yes, we can propose now. <gasps> all right, all right, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's propose to her. Ooh, 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 yes. Ooh, yeah, she accepted it. She's like, oh, I'm engaged. I'm engaged. Yes. Okay, so now Nina is engaged to Min Jun. And ooh, so I think we can, uh, we can only complete this scenario once we are married to each other. And um, click on Sims 
significant other and select get married under the romantic category. Sing can unlock the social by proposing this to their significant other. So yeah, we're heading towards that. Get married, recommitted. Yeah, that would be good. So I was thinking, you know, for the next episode, I'm going to do a big wedding for them because they are K-pop idols. So stay tuned for the next episode where it will be a big wedding for them. Alright guys, this video is getting too long. Thank you so much for reaching the end of this video. I hope you like this video as much as I enjoy making them. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I love you and me Dancing in the moon like nobody can see It's just you and me tonight I love you and me Dancing in the moon like nobody can see It's just you and me tonight Look at you now, look at me How you ever ever gonna find someone like this? Look at you now, look at me How you ever ever gonna find someone like this? <laughs>